Hi, this is Amy for CrimeFeed.com, and you're probably wondering what the bleep happened this week. So let's just get right to it, shall we? Police were called to the scene when it appeared that a woman was assaulting an unconscious man in a Sears parking lot. Turned out it was just her boyfriend who had passed out drunk and they were having sex and he couldn't finish the deed. Sounds like someone had a case of the old whiskey Oh! Her reasoning? Because I was in the mood. The woman claims that her alcohol-fueled romp was just an attempt to be spontaneous and that she's definitely, definitely not an exhibitionist. I'm not into erotic public sex or anything like that. Of course she isn't! I mean, what woman wouldn't be aroused by a Sailor Big Box chain store? Bargains are sexy. Meanwhile in Florida, a homeless man was found getting busy in a Burger King bathroom. By himself. Hold, hold on, just a second! Hey, got the urge? Get to Burger King. Anyhow, when he was confronted by a female patron during his self-love session, he said, What? I'm playing with my penis. To which she responded, Doesn't it take two hands to hold a whopper? Aw, snap! You can only imagine the shock on his face. It looked like that. Have you ever texted the wrong person? I know, it sucks. But it sucked way worse for this guy who was trying to score some drugs and accidentally texted, hey bro, to the local narcotics captain at the police department. Idiots! The cop played along swimmingly, winning over the suspect's confidences with a generous heaping of LOLs and smiley face emojis. But things got much more serious when they decided to meet up in person and he realized that he was a cop. Let's just say he wasn't LOLing then. Oh, man. Hot tip, to avoid future text mistakes of this magnitude, you may want to consider the contacts function on your smartphone. It works. Want to get the juicy details on all of these stories and lots of others? Visit crimefeed.com.